Now, in the on login click, we can convert them to string. So, like string username equals et username e dot get text dot to string and string password equals et password. I'm doing this very fast because we have already done it in the SQLI database tutorial. So, I hope you all understand how to do it if you don't know how to do it then watch some basic tutorials first and then uh, do this because it is very complicated tutorial and very long tutorial that's why to string then what we have to do is in the next part will be the authentication part we will do it later so now we have to create register the java file so here create a new java class name it register and it will extend activity class hit alt enter and go to override methods and here type on create and select this one on create saved instance state bundle void so this method will get overridden and here write set content view r dot layout dot register so we have created the register activity so when you go to the main activity here this error will be gone now in the register activity again there are two uh, buttons there are not two buttons but there are two clickable uh, entities so we have to create two methods first the register file contains one two three four and five uh, text field so again just like the main activity we have to create five text edit text so i'm going to skip this process i'm going to stop it and i'm i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to get back when it is done so i'm done with it um i have created uh, i have declared et name et email et username et password and et confirm password here and i have defined them here make sure you write the correct id here otherwise sometimes you forget and then you get error your app stops suddenly and it is very difficult to find out after that we have to create two methods so like public void on register on login click this is the smaller one that's why i, I am writing it first view view and again we have to create intent so i'm going to copy this from here so in the register file uh, when you click on the login here text view it should open the login activity that is the main activity so first i'm going to import this by hitting alt enter and i'm going to copy and paste it here hit okay and the context will be register dot this and the class name will be main activity dot class and start activity intent after that we have to create one more method like public void on register click view view so when you click on the register button it should convert it should take uh, all the five values so i'm going to do it now so write 
string name again i'm going to stop this and i'm going to get back to you when i'm done with it i'll explain it briefly so i'm done with it now i just created a string name et it should be name et name get text or uh, dot get text dot to string so i just repeated it for email username password and confirm password again make sure you are writing it correctly here after that we are going to check if both the password fields match or not so if password dot equals confirm password then we are going to register the user otherwise it is else we are going to show a toast message that is pop-up message that the passwords don't match so write toast dot make make text for the context write this for the message write password passwords don't match enter again and for the length write toast dot length long dot show so we will do the if part later after that we have to create one more file so display information so name it create a class java class display info okay it should also extend activity class make sure you spell activity correctly then again hit alt enter go to override methods search on create and select it and then write set content view r dot layout dot display info so in this activity we have four text we have text views not text fields but i'm going to copy it from register username password email and yeah these four lines and paste them paste them here hit ok but we don't want edit text we want text views so here write text view name email actually it should be tv for text view name tv email tv username tv password again hit alt enter so that text view will get imported here and here instead of edit text write text view and just copy this and paste it here and here for tf instead of tf write tv because our ids are tv password and tv right okay it is tf name it should be tv you can write whatever you want but for text views i write tv and for text fields i write TV email then go to display info the Java and here make it TV username TV password TV name and TV email 
so there are no errors now you will create one method for logout button so write public void on log out click view view to import view hit alt enter and then we will um, work on this method later now we have to create one more class so just create it name it local database 